Inside with the London Motor Show, we visit Ford's new multi-million pound research centre, just opened near Basildon, Essex. It's claimed to have the best facilities in Europe for testing every component in a vehicle, for simulating years of wear in a matter of days. huge investment implied by a new car design leaves no room for mistakes. From full-scale drawings, a full-size mock-up is made in clay. Almost a ton of clay for each car. Of course, even the best designs can only have a limited life. Like all consumer goods, consumption means destruction. But even after a lifetime of useful service, the old car can still go out in a blaze of glory. Stock car racing in West Germany among the steelworks of the Ruhr. In fact, just around the corner from the scrapyard. Europe's so-called affluent society has produced a problem of domestic scrap that's almost as large as America's. Mr. Duncan Sands recently inspired new laws to deal with the disposal of old cars and such like. He was the natural choice to open this new fragmentation plant at St. Helens. The idea started in America. This is the first one in Britain. Fragmentation means that a car can be broken up into small particles in just 15 seconds. The pure scrap steel is separated from non-ferrous metals and both are reclaimed in the most acceptable form. Small fistfuls of unadulterated metal. The plant can also reduce other domestic and industrial appliances. This year, more than a million cars will be consigned to the dumps. It will need only four of these plants to consume the lot at 15 seconds ago.